Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So finally I have a chance to unbox this uh, Voyager Radius Pro electric bike foldable 450 watt motor. It's from Casca I got it but again if the Casca sold out you may want to check link in description directly from them and I got a deal 15% off on everything you buy from the website so you'll use the code e writes I believe and you got 50% off. That's also a good deal. Okay, so let's do the unboxing to see if it's actually a good bike. I'll do assembly to show you how easy to assemble it. Also, will show you my experience riding this bike. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. And again, if you want to see Jessa Ball Pro compared to this bike or this bike to Jessa Ball Pro, subscribe to my channel so you will not miss a new video. Comment below that you want to see because the more people comment, then I will know you guys want to see the video. Maybe you don't, I don't know. So, the more people comment, like, subscribe, I'll do the Jason Bolt Pro compared to this bike. So, the bike actually kind of small, which is good, very compact so far so let's see what should I assemble maybe there's not much to assemble so I'm gonna try to straighten up Some instruction, seat, charger, and actually big pedals. And this one actually for the seat. So I would need to attach to the seat. It's kind of short, but we'll figure out. So basically you would need to attach the handlebar. And as you can see, you, this piece you would insert over here. You would need to open the slash in order to insert, otherwise the cable is kind of going to be too short, so you just insert it. And you would need to have a Allen key to tighten up. Before doing that, you would need to figure out to make sure it's straight, like this. Because why, once you tighten, it will stay this way. So make sure you tighten this very well. It does not come with any key, uh, with any tools. It does, this bike does not come with any tools, so you would need to have a set of Allen keys, which is very highly recommended to have while you own the bike. Okay, so you would tighten up. Sometimes uh, you need to use torque wrench. I don't have it, so just make sure it does not move then close the slash make sure you use this locking mechanism to lock in it's a little bit loose so i will screw use the screw to tighten up a little bit so they got really not bad pedals actually big large pedals so make sure you attach to the right side one says r it's mean for r re, uh, right and uh, left for the left so the right side will be on this side okay so on the right hand side so you would attach it first of all i would attach with hand so it's pretty easy and then i'll do another side Now I would loosen this tool bolt and insert it and just attach the seat. So you just tighten up once you insert it. You can tighten one side. Insert your seat. Tighten on the side, the knob over here. slash to close this. The seat is kind of low but it should fit me very well. I'm gonna also uh, adjust the handlebar 
just to open the latch it was actually open move a little bit up over here okay in this position and close this but you, i would use this knob to tighten up because it was loose and handlebar kind of very narrow probably nearer than just simple pro but i'll do compare later if you put enough comments and likes and subscribe to my channel so hopefully my e rights channel gets thousand subscribers and then i'll do this compare video and that's about it so it's very very easy to assemble you just need to attach the seat and handlebar the wheels already attached uh, just it's very easy to fold it i'll get more details once i charge this bike I recommend you to charge completely i think you need to charge between four to six hours until the green lights come out over here always plug in the charger first to outlet and then to the bike and the charging port should be over here on this side you'll find charging port on this side and so far i think it's an amazing bike for the price you're gonna pay so 600 700 500 it's a good bike but i'm gonna charge it fully and then go for a ride so i'll see you later due to the extreme heat in california and also some technical issue with this electric bicycle which you must to see before you buying this uh, bike i have to postpone this video and i decide to split on two parts so this was a unboxing assembling video the next video will be review with a uh, riding experience and i'll show you what's uh, the problem with this bicycle and if you should buy it or not uh, please hit like subscribe and hit the bell next to subscribe button this way you will not miss the second part of this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video